evening, everyone. Yes, good evening, gentlemen. I am Hitman, and this here is Wiz War 100. Wiz War. Yes, Wiz War 100, back for another commentary. The gameplay by Hitman here. Yep, I recorded this a really long time ago, and I just remember some pretty funny stuff happens to, in it, so I'm not really uh, not really entirely up to speed on it. I might be su um, surprised by some of the stuff that happens. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so what is this game that, uh, hmm, I've been holding you at gunpoint at some point in the past? This is Gunpoint. <gasps> How uh, ironic! Uh, hilarious. And but anyway, uh, we've just been called. We've just fallen out of a window, and been called to do a job by this lady who is now dead. Ah uh, yes. Uh, and seen on a security camera. Of course. So that sums up the events here. I've tried to put the video quality high enough so that you can see the text, but it goes by a little fast sometimes. Mm. Plus, you've got our commentary. Now here is a little little beforehand scenario going on. Uh, uh the five caution. A few things earlier. Maximum strength jump may shatter children. <laughs> I love that. Rider jump. Ah, you want to you want to <laughs> explain uh, what gunpoint is about? So you, this guy just jumped out of a window. But basically, this is a a game that is about jumping around. It's a stealth game. Uh, you jump around and you cross link things together. AKA kind of pretty much hacking them. Yeah, so you, you have to control power flow and things like that. And it also has this nifty little conversation system. Oh, yeah, it's a little... It's kind of like a smartphone, but not really. Yep. And uh, you get you get to decide to be sarcastic or, like, straight with the person. The first time I recorded this, I was really sarcastic, but I decided to play the straight man this time. Ah, instead of the hitman. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this game is on Steam, and there's also a demo on it that you could try. I did play a little bit of it, but Hitman here has the full game, and I'd also like to say, uh, I like to imagine this as Watch Dogs in 2D, kind of like Terraria is the 2D version of uh, Minecraft. Hmm. I never never played Watch Dogs, I'm not sure how it, it's it's not out is. It's not out yet, but it pretty much has the same hacking mechanics of uh, re rerouting things with a uh, phone. Oh, I see. Yeah, so that's why. Okay, and here you can just ask, how do you wipe the data? I love this, uh, this, um... Conversation? This first mission. This first mission. Oh. It's one of my favorites. Like, literally, in this mission, all you have to do... I try to give you time to read this, by the way. But, yeah. you know, we're describing it, so... Hopefully you can get a, get a good view on what's going on. Yeah. In this uh, mission, literally all you have to do is you walk in, you go up in the elevator, two floors, and then you hack the computer. That's it. I see the bullfrog legs uh, act like the portal legs that um, when you fall from a high height you don't die. Yeah. Our guy literally like fell three stories and smashed through a window and still was just perfectly fine. Same with, same strangely with the guy that uh, killed the woman in the first scene. So, uh -huh. info on that. Oh, it's one of those. I also uh, got all the little those yeah. files, huh? Those hidden files like in uh, the Call of Duty games. One, yep, little hidden laptops. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, give you some nice background information. Of this world. Yep. And here we've we've learned that uh, this is a RoboCop scenario. We've got uh, the, we've got the police now working for some kind of corporate interest. You all move. Which never creep. bodes very well. I find it funny. There's always like a like a subway station to the right of the building. Yeah, every building in this place has like a. It's linked to. Walking a... through already open doors is my specialty. <laughs> this this one of the better conversations. Oh yes. Our feeds are backed up. Four more facilities. Micromanagement. Hmm. Yeah, she's micromanaging us. She's like, oh, I'll give you the more difficult ones later. Oh uh, yes, she is like. Uh... Oh, she's pretty much the information. Otacon. Right. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Yep. So you can, we can, so as it turns out, we can actually get this dude down below to open the door for us. Or before we can tackle this guy, and punch if him. If you punch him a whole bunch of times, uh, it starts. Yeah, it's it starts uh, saying really funny stuff to you. It goes it goes like you know you really don't have to keep hitting this guy. He's already dead. And then at the end, it's like, there's no achievement for this. Yeah. It, and then in the end, they actually give you an achievement. It's just like, okay, we'll give you one. Just stop stop, stop kill, punching this guy. Ah, okay. And in, in that case, they're kind of lying about it. But they're, they're just a little fourth wall humor. 
Yeah, and here's a here's another uh, memo from the chief of police to all the police. And this is actually this actually helps explain a little gameplay mechanic, where you just why you can't just pick up a cop's gun and use it because it's a uh, ID genetically coded. Ah, it's I was gonna say is it ID locked like in a Metal, Metal Gear Solid Four because uh, you can steal guns in Metal Gear Solid Four but you can't use them unless uh, this guy called Drebin unlocks them for you. Right. I was gonna say is it like that? Okay, and we've got maximum witnesses this time, which I don't like, but there's not really a way to do it without witnesses this in that it's one. The, yeah, you can't, like, perfect the missions. You can perfect, like, one part of it, though. Yeah, sometimes you can perfect multiple parts, but with these, these are still tutorial missions, so they're not really challenge missions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's like, uh, I... I hmm, let's see what she's saying. Oh, t tell me about how, how uh, the thing works. Yeah cross-link system. Basically, you just control power flow. Yes. And you can, like, turn things on and off with uh, switches. It's really a simple mechanic simple. when you get right down to it. Pretty neat. It adds, it adds a lot of depth to the gameplay. Uh, what was I trying to say? It's like, uh, uh, going back to the stat screen, it's like, I can never, you can never get, like, everything to be perfect, but it'll be, like, close. Because if you try to knock out people, uh, you lose a bit of score on this. Uh, it doesn't really matter in the end. It just, it's just, like, statistics. Yeah, sometimes you have this a decision where if you want to kill them, you don't get a witness, but you all, but you get a, uh, you know, you don't get a witness, but you get violence, which is also not good. But usually it's possible to just avoid them completely. And here's you using the cross link where that door was locked, and you rerouted the power or uh, hacked the switch to work to open the door. Yep. Yep. You just, uh, it's mostly just switching things to, to switches things. Uh, switch. Switch uh, activation sources. Electronically locked doors. Yeah, it's just saying that electronically they haven't clicked, they haven't dumped. Man, they have. And there, I take the shortcut. Man, they have like, what was it? Uh, twenty foot like glass walls. Jeez. Yeah, I don't understand why the entire wall is made of glass. And why is it so breakable? Yeah, I don't know. They, they're just a bunch of cheap assholes for the same reason they hire two security guards and tell them never move your head. Yes, never look around. Like, no matter what no matter what you do. Seriously, if you move your head, we will fire you. Or you will Yeah. Yeah. If, if you don't watch just this one door. <laughs> I like how he also leaves the door open. Oh yes, that's totally safe. And I find it funny, there's like just several institutions where it's just uh It's specifically just made to like get hacked. Oh, I see you tasered him. Yeah, you can do that. You can uh, activate little power outlets next to people and knock them out. Hmm. Oh. What you were supposed to do, I think, is uh, shut off the lights. Because that's the way most of these uh, things work. Here I'm searching for a laptop that may or may not exist. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no laptop. I don't, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't, I don't see And go it. to the subway station again. Jeez, this guy would fit well with the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, you, so, you seriously just go straight to the subway station every time, and I guess no one at the subway station cares. I guess he just jumps onto the subway, although I don't know what yeah. would happen on the ceiling part. Yeah, if he actually, um, what you call it, if he actually uses uh, the gun, you have a certain amount of time before a cop shows up and blocks the exit. Oh. And then just shoots you if you go there. Only if you use the but, gun, uh, right? Yeah, there's the, you get a gun later in the game. Ah, alright then. I was wondering, like, is this all I'll ever do? Because uh, the demo obviously doesn't show everything, but still. Yeah, it the gun the gun is a thing you can use, but it's heavily cautioned. Or, they really don't want you to use it. Makes sense, makes sense. It's a stealth mission. See, and now we're setting things up so that... It all links to each other. So that all the, uh... So that when I, I press this switch, all the lights will turn off at once. And they can't do anything about it. You're like playing and then, with and scissors. Then, yeah, and then and then also whenever they try to press the switches to turn on or to turn on the lights again, they're gonna open doors for me. Hmm. I th uh, did you try to like turn off the camera over there? Not not that it matters in this situation because I don't know why you'd go there. See, the camera is actually its own source. You can't really turn it off. Oh. Oh, okay then. Yeah, the, the camera can power other things. Like, you can actually wire uh, a door to the camera so that if anyone walks in front of the camera, the door will open. Funny how they just, like, can't just... Nobody has a flashlight, really? 
Yeah, nobody nobody has flashlights. No one even really cares. We were sneaking past this guy. No, you're a lot sneakier than me. Yeah, don't uh. Because I like how you can just you can just jump on you up on the ceiling and just and like uh, just there. do it Sam Fisher Spider Man style. Yeah, like do you really make no sound on the on the ceiling? Uh, I I guess not. I guess these guard. Okay, here, these... here I'm searching for the uh, laptop. Laptop again, which I don't think is here. No, no, it's right there. Oh no, I found it. Okay. Yeah, except the cameras over there. Yeah, it's it's like it's practically cameras don't hate black. I love this one. Oh, this is read this. What? The cameras are racist. <laughs> yeah. So what? Apparently, what they thought, uh, what they thought was that uh, they triggered against black people, but they actually, they actually uh, trigger whenever someone that's not a security personnel walks in front of it. Oh, you know, I thought it was like a, like a, uh, what was it? The the joke on the connect because if you remember about the thing about the early uh, connect is it couldn't detect black people or dark clothes oh. stuff so i thought that was the joke <laughs> it, maybe it, it might be it might be who knows? That, that could be yeah this this guy has a lot of good humor in it because um actually after the next mission is when the tutorial ends and i'll, I'll let you know uh, what the or no not, not the tutorial rather the demo yeah and they had some interesting uh, options uh, yes, because uh, the demo lets you, like, I think get up to, like, uh, two, two, uh, items that you can buy, and that was about it. Oh, wait, no, 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 it was yeah. just a crosslink, wasn't it? No, I think, I think you get, uh, you get up to this mission, but at any rate, whenever you finish talking to the, uh, or whenever you finish talking to the person after the, oh, yeah, here's the upgrade Yeah, I was gonna system. say, are you gonna upgrade? But it's like, uh, you get one yeah. upgrade point each, but yeah. See now I can now all I have to do is click and then I can just jump as far as I can. Ah, that's good. Here I am here I'm credit he she borrowed her phone from a sex <laughs> I noticed your mouse so, was like, hovering over there. What is that what is what does that mean? Like What's... is she like is that her cellmate? Was this Wow, that's kind of a dick move by somebody. Uh I was gonna I was gonna say, I think like when you you said you were like when you talk to this guy, the mission is just it just in the demo it just ends, it's like go buy the actual game. Yeah, in, in the demo, uh He's like, I would like to, or your, your character's like, I would like to help you, but someone's replaced all my dialogue options with buy game. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I thought that was really clever. It's actually one of the reasons I ended up buying the game. I want to get the game. And I showed it's not that expensive. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a bad game at all. And uh, if you actually like to uh, speed run and do like perfect runs of things. Yeah, this seems to be like a, this is a good game speed for runner like game. Ooh, time to see the rider jumps. So for more uh, storyline-ish stuff. Oh, is that all it does? Then... The camera? Yep, that's all the camera does. Oh, so it... usually they're they're wired to um, in certain buildings. Usually they're wired to an alarm. Uh, what you call them? They're wired to alarms. Oh, okay. Which can be a problem. But uh, is... so what happened in that last that last bit is she's being framed for murder. Doesn't know about it. Oh, uh, by the way, what was the whole turning that switch on the bottom turning all the things green do? Okay, so. As it turns out, you have access to to uh, one circuit to begin with in every mission, but you have to have access. You have to actually uh, use the wire jack for those little terminals in order to get access to other circuits. Ah, okay. And I noticed that there's like missiles in the office. What's up with that? Yep. Well, this is actually a weapons manufacturing firm. Hmm. Okay. So apparently, this guy was being bugged. This guy, I think, is Melanie Rook's husband, who is. Melanie Rook is the chick who uh, is helping us erase all the footage, so the police will actually have to investigate the murder. And not frame you for it. Yeah, because uh, they're just a bunch of lazy assholes. And too busy, if they can, too busy eating if they donuts. Can get you, yeah, and if they can get you for the murder, they'll, they'll do it. Ah, yes, those lazy authorities. Yep. Okay, he says a company calls in Tex, has an incriminating record of him. Rivals. Okay, and if you... And if you noticed, that little optional laptop we got told us that they were buying the same kind of materials that uh, their company was buying. Their competitors were buying weapons, the same materials that they were buying for some strange reason, and at the exact same time. So, oh. got a feeling that uh, they have some extra information. Ah, is this uh, where you can choose which mission to work for? Well, no. This you have to do both the missions. Oh, okay. It's just which one you want to do first. 
yeah, you get to make decisions later about that, but uh, for now, it's just uh, stuff we have to And do. ooh, optional objective. No violence. Yep. Does that get you so, more rewards? Uh, it, give, it gives you a higher rating. It doesn't give you more money. Oh, boo. You know, that would have been some sort of incentive if they did that. Yeah, kind of like, it's kind of like a Hitman does it, actually. They, uh, you, you, the less violence you have, <laughs> the, the quieter you are. I love how this cop is like, oh, let's not go to the to the switch behind me to turn on the lights. Oh, by the way, they can see you if they're really close, and that's about it. Yeah, they have to be, like, right up next oh, to you. Oh, almost got, got caught there. Yeah, I almost died there. Okay, and I, I switched off the switch. I disconnected the switch, so he can't do that. Oh! See, I can't believe he shot me there. I was like, is that really close enough? Because I could have sworn I was closer to the guy on the, you know, bottom. Yeah, but he was looking the other way. That was the thing. So Fritz Gessler is actually the other guy who we can do jobs from. So he's like completely confused about what on earth Gessler is doing. Because Gessler's a pretty shitty businessman, actually. All right. But he's got a lot of money. So this is about all so, the gun laws and things and gun bans. Yeah. The, yeah. They they outlawed guns except for the except for the police, which means that firearms manufacturing you wouldn't think was a very you know useful profitable business, but he, for some reason he still wants to like uh, muscle out the competition. Oh, th does the does the orange wires work only with the orange stuff? Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't cross, you can't cross like them from. All right, all right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, and uh, okay, I'm gonna make here at this point. I thought he might be able to see me and kill me because when you're in the light, they can see you. So a little better. See that that guy did witness me, so I I find it odd that they can witness you but not actually see you and just be like, oh, must be thingy. Yeah, it, it's odd. Server log showed it was once downloaded by Rook IP. Okay, so the information was downloaded. The information we're looking for was downloaded by a an IP that uh, Rook's company owned. So now we're gonna go look for. And it. she's giving more money. Yep, four hundred dollars. Quite a significant section. So she, uh, Kate, Katie's getting a little worried. She doesn't want to put us in danger for her own stuff. Oh, okay, and new now enemy type? Introducing a new gameplay mechanic. A new enemy type. Yep, can't. enforcers. They cannot be, cannot be knocked down. I can't. Jumping into one staggers him a little bit. Uh oh. Yep. See, what I did, what what I did there was I decided to make that little movement detector trigger all trigger all the lights so that I can turn them off. Here I'm stealthily hanging around in an elevator. And does, I like how they can hear they can hear the elevator get to the floor, but they don't think to check it. Yeah, like, oh, who's there? No, no, none of that. Just none of that. What was that noise? Yep. And now I'm gonna wire this thing so that when I get there, it triggers that. And just unlocks a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, now I can. For whatever reason, they they can't like attach individual rooms to different light switches. Like, it has to be all the lights on that floor get turned off whenever you press the switch on that floor. Oh, yeah, because that really, uh, that's really helpful. Hey, I see a laptop over there. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get it. Is that glass I see in, like, the middle of the room? Uh, oh, yeah, the, those are actually glass floors. I don't know what those are uh, for. Uh, are you able to break them? Yeah, you can. If you actually, if you, if I were to go on top of the building and then jump straight up, I would be able to break the glass. Huh, alright. In, so, in one mission, I think you have to do that. Okay, there's there's Rook and Collins. Rook's the chick that was helping us out with the yeah, erasing the data before. Collins is the chick that's being framed. So here, what we got here is that Rook uh, has some sort of uh, crafty plan to get around Gessler's machinations. So we're, I'm not sure if we ever learn what that is, but I'm pretty sure Rook is a little smarter than Gessler. Rookie. Just uh, going off the evidence that this game gives you. Well, uh, you'll get to see that soon oh, yourself. Oh, that was pretty good, except minus the time. But then again, yep. there's not much you can do for that. I never succeed on the time. Okay, she doesn't know what to do. 
so and she's now depressed. Because someone's trying. Hates me so much does, that they want to. Because someone wants to frame him. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna wait a while before we go to Gessler. I think we're gonna go for yeah. anonymous first. So after upgrading. After we. After we Are those the first. only upgrades you can get? No, you can get the uh, once you get certain things that allow you to uh, have batteries. You can upgrade how many batteries you can have. Oh, and I see you got the drop shot. What was that? The muffler? And the hush cracker. That means whenever you you can break through glass without making any sound. Oh, so in combination of drop shot. Mm -hmm. So here the this anonymous person is trying to get some investigation of into the murder that you think is a or that they think is you that you need to like uh, go retrace your steps about. And this guy's the police chief, actually. Oh, thanks for telling. Thanks for telling him. Yep, he says I'm the chief of police, and then he says, "Oh, but everyone is really corrupt and lazy and stupid." And or uh, they department. they die by some freak accident. He wants to find out why. Yep. Uh, I like how obvious you can be that it's you. You could be like, "So uh, that would show you who was there that day, wouldn't it?" Uh, wouldn't want that, would we? It sounds like uh, he's gonna get reframed for it. So are we back at the beginning? Yes, this is the very first um, mission. This is the very first place we had to go to. Oh, there's a guard here now. And no camera. Oh wait, no, the camera's there. Just it's down. The camera's there. It's just it's inactive now. And that's the key point. We have to get. We have to recover the on-site memory from it because apparently there's a backup there that we didn't know about. So I don't know what I was thinking of right here. Yeah, this does get a little complex. Oh, you were trying to lock oh, the yeah. door. Oh, yeah. No, now I know why. Because I have to turn off the lights. Because to make that guy go in the other room. Oh. See, there I got shot. Yes. But my idea was sound. I have to make him open the door so he won't be looking at me. Because if, if I were to go in using the elevator, he would have just faced the other direction. Yes. See, there he actually saw me, I think. Well, there he did. <laughs> he saw me again. <laughs> oh, yes, I do like the whole, like, how uh, it resets the... Or the respawn. Retry. Yeah, it's like two seconds, five seconds, twelve seconds, whatever. That's That, that makes this game uh, not as frustrating as it uh, could potentially be. Yeah, and later on when you get the gun, they actually factor that in. So, once you use the gun, you get 30 seconds before someone shows up, but they they don't save the, the stuff after you use the gun, so you can always go back to a point before you used it. I was going to say, it's, uh, if they're going to have a gun ban, couldn't they use something like a taser? It's like, oh wait, what's the difference? They're going to go down. Uh, yeah. I don't know. These, these guards are just a bunch of assholes. Like, are they, are they seriously allowed to just shoot on sight? It's the worst. Yeah, and, and make the gun band even worse. And I like how the elevators don't go all the way down to the floor you want. It has to go to each floor one by one. Yeah. Hey, that was a pretty good a uh, run. Convenient. Yeah, decent. Did we get the card. Oh, there's nothing on it. What do you know? Are you? Basically, the idea is we're, we are the one that he wants to find who erased all this data. But we have to make sure that he doesn't know that. So we're, we have to re-cover up the stuff using the so we have to do a recover up basically he's trying to get us to recover recover the data that we deleted can you like uh, screw yourself over with the dialogue here or like in any it, of the dialogue it is po yeah it is actually possible for you to admit that you were the person he's looking for and then would it just be game over and just like retry no no it's not game over but he can't really do anything because he got all the data illegally anyway. No, oh, so it's just like, hur, hur. Yep, you're, he's kind of fucked. Okay, so here, just wire that little motion detector. And now looking for all the green stuff. Oh wait, I see one green switch over there. Yeah, see this little thing, or that little thing above the bottom elevator is a noise detector. So that means if you use, if I were to use the little elevator, it would, uh, or if, as soon as the elevator gets to that floor, it will trigger, it'll make a sound, and then that will trigger the little noise detector, so. Uh, under the 
elevator. Oh, the little uh, green thing? Yep. Oh, okay. That, that thing is a sound detector. Yeah, I was, I was trying to uh, get to reading that. Oh, I see. So now you're moving the elevator to open the door. Or... Pretty much. Yeah, this is where it starts to get a little complicated. And now I realize that, hold on, I've messed up. I actually need to open that door. Or that blue door towards the beginning. Because if I don't, I won't be able to get the laptop. And I noticed that there's a hidden, there's an optional laptop to the right. Is there? Uh, on the bottom right. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I Now I know why. Because the light switch is in there. And if I don't use the light switch, that guy will be facing me. And he'll instantly kill me. I need to get into that door in order to shut off the lights on the second floor. Because for some strange reason, whenever you shut off the lights on the floor, uh, I actually knocked that guard out there. I don't know if I intended to do that. Oh, with but the I door? Him out. Oh, that's funny. I knocked him out with the door. <laughs> the automatic doors knock people out in this game. Yeah, there's a lot of little tricks you can use. The, the only problem is, you see that little battery gauge that I have when I'm in crosslink mode? You don't get very many batteries. And most of the stuff that uses batteries uses a lot. Oh, I so didn't know. I didn't really... notice. Like I, I haven't, I haven't had to use the the hush cracker, where if I dive through glass, I can actually um, not get detected for it. But yeah, what, like I was saying, whenever you turn off a light switch, for some reason they start patrolling around. They don't just stand still like they used to. Or do anything logical. Yep. And here I have to all this stuff together because yeah this game could yeah, get I very uh complicated to a to a point yeah the last mission is actually very difficult i'm like you son of a bitch you didn't open the door oh he oh um, he, he actually already opened the door for no real reason i like that that guy's name is lava beady lombardi lombardi it's like a bunny <laughs> Office, work office across the street, getting backed up here. Uh, da, 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 da. I saw a guy making out with. Uh, oh, yeah, I was gonna say, was he was was he with like floor. a prostitute? No. So you remember the remember the chick that uh, what the chick's name was that we uh, we saw murdered? Oh yeah. It was like Selena Delgado or something. Delgado. Yeah, it turns out that her and uh, Rook's husband were having an affair. Here we can give him random garbage. You're right, that is random. I like how he says, you're right, that is random garbage. Like, here's what I got the server. He just accepts random it. Random garbage. I have, a, he just, I have a few. Like, I actually said random garbage. Uh, hmm, I wonder is this chief of police gonna screw you over later? We will see. He needs to break into, he has to break into his own HQ now. What do you want me to do about it? There's a really funny line here, actually. Can't you, police chief of the actual police, get this police thing from the police? <laughs> <laughs> Ask my predecessor, you can't, he was shot six times in the chest. Ah, uh, basically so the yeah, police force sucked. Hey, cars! Yeah, and this this guy can't do anything because uh, he'll get killed. Even if he's the chief of police. Can you get spotted through yep. the windows? Yes, you can. Alright, okay, dumb question. I should have known. That, uh, oh yeah, that... That'd be the point of windows. Good thing you're not playing this game. Would have had even more fuck ups. Uh, I'd like to play it. I'm just a cheap bastard asshole. Yeah, I, I also note that uh, if I activated both those lights, I would have just activated it twice and it wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, it's because they uh, they flip it on to be like to check what's going on. Again, this makes like I can't describe how little sense this makes. Imagine if if in your house, like realistically, like, this wouldn't you turned... this wouldn't make sense. Yeah, imagine if in your house, every time you you <laughs> turn off the light in your room, you had to turn off the light for the entire floor. Like, I don't I don't get it at all. Yeah, realistically, it just doesn't make sense. But gameplay-wise, uh, I'm going to have to work with it. Gameplay-wise, it can help you out. I, I meant, like, it, it, it's like for the sake of gameplay, it makes sense. Yeah. If you, if you like me uh, juking around that guy there. Because he was just walking back and forth. And I, I'm trying to stay above him so he can't see me. I would have tried to knock him out. Yep, and I've actually I've actually just made him uh, open the vault door over there before me. Vault doors are a thing that gets at, get out of this mission. 
whereas uh, they they only open temporarily. They don't they don't open permanently. Ah, for security so. reasons. Interesting. Yep. I'd hate to see someone yep. get caught in those. So you have to get yeah, that can happen. You can die. Oh, I was just somewhat kidding about that. Is that blood on the wall, or is wait, is it? An... Yeah, it does look like that's blood. I didn't even notice that. Wow. I was gonna say, is this a hospital? Like, no, this is the oh! See, and that guy actually did get caught right in the crotch. Ow. And I did not intend for that to happen at all, but it did. And nobody calls for help, like casualties or anything. And there's a rubber ducky costume. Yeah, no one noticed him. Okay, Detective Sal Sal Gadol. Detective Gadol. Selena Delgado and my boss's husband, Mark Jackson, for some reason. He's basically saying uh, that the fact that Collins kills, or, or Collins being the murderer, makes absolutely no sense at all. Was that laptop on the. Oh, it, it was. I didn't notice that, actually. Yep. So, yeah, the, the detectives are uh -oh. actually acknowledging that their theory about who killed who makes absolutely no sense, but they're not going to question it at all. Ah, some, some interrogation mysteries. Here I am just trying to me trying to mess around and cross-link things together. Doesn't quite work out for me. Hmm, I was gonna be. Why not turn off the lights? Yeah, that's like 90% of the of the missions in this game. Turn, off, turn the off the lights. lights. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really silly. No, it's... But here you actually have to trigger one of these um one of these uh, which, sound which detectors. One of these cameras. Oh yeah. To open a door, right? Yeah, so you need, you need the camera to trigger something to open the door. I, uh, do we get stuck here for a little bit? A little bit, I think. It doesn't take Cause I was like, why didn't you use the camera on the left side and then just use that to trigger the door open? Yeah, now, now I, I can do this. I can just activate it from in here. I can make the elevator go down there. Trigger the hole. Same thing. And now- And now I can just use- now I can just use the camera to open it. Crosslink things. Oh, hey, that's a morgue down there. Where is it? Uh, down there, there was a corpse on the table. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just noticed that. Yeah, I don't look around very much in these levels. So maybe you'll actually notice things that I did. Oh, you are trying to play the game, so all that special detail isn't probably that important. Yeah, so the violence comes from me accidentally killing that guy. Or, quote unquote, you killing them. So, so the guy just put it in the recycle bin and didn't delete it. <laughs> what? The autopsy. So, basically, they figure out that what we just what we saw, which is that they shot her and then jumped down after her and then shot her again. Jeez, oh, talk about overkill. Okay, I have a suspect for Selena Delgado's murder. You have to break into his apartment. Uh, and now, wait till you see this. She was shot again, so he flew out of a building. People who throw themselves out of third-story windows aren't, aren't all bad. What? Huh? Well, what sense does that make? Because you do that. This means he had tech. I'm suggesting a drop-shot trench coat. Hmm, kind of like me. And his, also, also the, sus the suspect's apartment was right across from the building. How convenient! Well, who who does that sound like? So yeah, if you can't you can't tell already. This is our apartment we're going to. You know, this is, uh... This part is actually really annoying, because all these guys are facing out to get you, so you have to... Ooh. Yeah, like that. How do you see you over there? Well, there's light where I am. And I'm, like, kind of clinging to the window. It'd be hard to miss me. Oh, yeah, I guess. And I was gonna say, if there's some time-traveling uh, plot in this game, I'm just gonna be like, really? Yeah. Th that was the hush cracker, by the way. It doesn't shatter. It just kind of goes... It kind of breaks... Was it, wait, was that a thing to strap people to? That was like a gimp board. I didn't see it. <laughs> Cause like, oh, when you pick the thing off of a, uh, oh, uh, maybe not. I, I, hey, now I'm realizing that there's, that I need to go get in there. Subject Blurg. Selena Delgado and Mark Jackson. He's about eight times smarter than me. I didn't know you could test that. So Delgado is being a little, um, 
So, so Delgado wants, uh, she's, she's showing a little remorse about cheating on Rook, or cheating on Rook's with her husband, or however you say that. She having an affair. I actually don't know. Yes, so she's having an affair with, with Rook's husband. So she's, she regrets it a little bit, and she's like, you know, just man up to tell her. Oh, <laughs> what? <die. laughs> <laughs> that can't be. There's one of those moments that I forgot about. <laughs> that, <laughs> that guy straight up hey, ran out. That's, that's trying not even your kill. He, like, suicided. <laughs> he jumped out of the... <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot that happened. <laughs> I actually, I managed to both break the... That was a weird jump too, because I managed to both break the, the window and uh, hang on to the ledge below it at the same time. And cause the and cop I, to come after you. Yeah, and I guess he kind of saw my feet, or he got a little over... He, he saw my hands hanging on, and he uh, he got a little overzealous. I can't tell you that, I can't <laughs> I just, tell you that. I got He's just like running out, and he forgot that... <laughs> uh, no brains. <laughs> I, I, that was hilarious. I was gonna say, I gotta hand it to you. That was pretty impressive. What was that? I don't know. He he heard the um Oh yeah, here's here's I, do I quit here? I don't quit here, okay. Wait, wait, wait. This is a little bit of a weird weird segment. Cause he he hears the, the door above opening. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of yeah, but we, strange. Tackling him is the best option because he'll there's no way he will not detect you there. I was, I was gonna say, well, why would you? Why would you have a, op a a roof opening? It just it's just they set themselves up for this. Yeah, this is so pointless. There's no reason why that that roof should be there. And I see you didn't like open the other uh, green thing. Or wait, did you open the green thing? Oh yeah. yeah the yeah. green circuit's open because it's it's lit up in the crossing screen. Oh look, you can actually another, do, another opening uh, roof thing. Go on. Yeah, you can actually open this part without. Uh, if you if I didn't hook the that pink door down there. If I didn't hook that in, I would have to go all the way back around to try and set it up. Tie. Then there's there's Mr. Lava Dobby again. Okay. This is also like the setup. Oh, that's why. So if you can't setup. tell if you can't tell what's going on in this mission, the cop is testing us. Ah. Of course, I, I say this with the benefit of hindsight. I don't imagine anyone. By the way, how would you get to that room to get to the bottom? There's no stairs or anything. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You'd have to go through the roof, which can only be triggered through some other means. Yeah, I don't, I don't, the design of this building makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, like, what, are we supposed to fall through the glass floor to get to the bottom? What the fudge? Yeah, they have to, they have to replace that glass floor a lot, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. But anyhow, uh, basically what that, uh, oh, that extra laptop you said was... right through the map. Yeah, I did. Psych I'm a psychopath, because I, I killed one out of one people. Oh, yes. So, this guy is testing us. He actually... He had that data stored in that place. Yeah, so there's, he admits it. That was, that was a dummy file. Ah. And what if you did... What if you lied to him? Uh, if you lie to him, see, here's the option you get. You can tell him, you can tell him, oh, it was me that wiped the data. Or you could say, or, or you could say, okay, it wasn't me. Oh. And just maintain your innocence. Or you could say, I missed, I missed the plot around mission two. I just want to play the game. <laughs> oh, up. These little meta moments are some of the best parts of this game. So now we're working for this Gessler guy. Oh yes, that we've been, or you've been ignoring for quite a bit. Who the fuck, who the fuck, <laughs> who the fuck are, you? are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I need someone serious. I'm serious and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> I don't have any idea what these are references to, but that was funny. Some bullshit secret she thinks is going to get around the gun ban. Okay, so Rook is, uh, Rook has something, some kind of business plan. He knows about it. He wants you to steal it. Of course, because this is all about corporate stealth stealing. Leave no Pretty living much. witnesses. Oh, yep. That's that's this guy. This guy's a businessman. He doesn't want any of your, you know, nasty business to be detected. So. Oh, okay. That, okay. That's his whole thing. Is it possible to knock out the the bulky guards with like a door or something? You'll see in a second. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why would Why you... would there be... That makes no sense to put that there. You know, like, literally. You know, are, are they even told about... No sense. Are they even told about... Oh, by the... Oh, by the way, this, this floor opens up. Did they not get the memo about that? Like, oh, watch out for the floor over here. You might trip and fall over it. I... Yeah, it can be triggered from below, and it, you will get knocked out from it. Okay, maybe they might not know that whole cross-linking business, but you think by this point, they'd be like... They'd have, like, some idea of it. Yeah, because... They're, they're just way too stupid to do any of this stuff. So yeah, to the left of this guy is a... Uh, <laughs> he didn't see you. He actually did see me. That's why he's standing there. But he, he didn't see me fast enough to actually... To actually be able to shoot me. If you notice what we did to get... To get there. Actually, first we'll talk about this. That prank spam. Apparently, you we are not the first people that Gessler has, uh, has sent to try and steal this stuff. Because uh, this place is actually... This place actually designs these goofy electronic traps. To, uh... Yeah. So, basically, they've just they've just been uh, killing all the guards that, that he's been sending. But, yeah. If you notice, uh... If you go up in an elevator in this game, the cops notice... And then they look at the elevator to see if someone comes out. Ah. They don't look in the elevator, that would make too much sense. But they'll look at it. They look at the elevator. Yes, could have prevented so much, uh, fucking A. Could have... That guy was Australian. Uh... Well, good night. Good night, mate. Oh, my... Oh, God, my Australian's so terrible. Huh? Let's never do that again. We're not drowning out here now. Obviously not. Okay. I know you've taken a job to see... <laughs> Honestly, it was the only thing going. That's hilarious. Okay, the job was a ruse. The prototype you're looking for doesn't exist. So basically, Rook is messing with Gessler, saying, "Oh, wait a minute. There, there is no prototype." She's pretending she has a big secret so that he'll try and he'll waste money trying to steal it. Ah, one of those uh, fool your enemies. I love yep. this job. Yeah. So. Basically, we're, we're stealing something so we can give it to her so that we can steal it again. And then give it to Gessler, because it has a tracker on it. Ugh. So yeah, we have to steal this thing that looks like it kind of might be a weapon. But it's not. But it's not, so they're going to be really confused about it. In other words, it's a trap! Now, this, this level is actually really confusing, because all the different levels have their own circuits, and you have to, like, get everyone trapped in such a way where... They can't get in your get way. Detected. Yeah. That one room... I'm pretty sure I still die here as well, so... Not perfect. Oh, and I, and I think I know why it's also tricky, because it seems like you don't really get to control much here. Yep, you just have to wait for them to walk through doors. These little trickers. And then cut off the circuit so they can't do anything... Yep, so now he's uh he's just trapped in there walking back and forth. And he could have like pressed the switch on the door, but oh, clearly not. Yep, nope. No, he just wants to walk back and forth. He's like, oh, there's a door there, better turn around. Okay, now we've gotten everything that we can set up. Now we just have to open up the door up there. Or the ceiling, that is so unsafe. Yeah, I don't understand this the ceiling at all. Apparently you're you're not supposed to I apparently you're not supposed to do the mission like this. Oh well. Me personally, when I do this, I usually just fall down. Uh, but hey, that's what and makes this game uh, interesting, right? You get to do it the way you wanna. Yep. I I don't know. Usually, I just fall down and get shot. Ah, oh, could have brought that time. cop down. Yep. I got shot at that time. <laughs> Push the shit. Oh, is that the thing you're doing right now? <laughs> I just punched the crap out of that guy. And then you get named yeah. Psychopath. I wasn't uh, detected there, so... Hey, how'd he get break free of the door? Yeah, that was a little tricky move on my part. He actually opened it, because oh. if they hear anything, they'll open the door. But if they don't, they'll just, they're content to just walk back and forth all the time. Quiz. If Rookie did have working on something, something that would hit the personal security market... Okay. Would she ask you to keep it confidential? Would you agree? Fun man. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he's basically saying that's obviously what you would say because uh, you know you're you're working for her. So you're he 
Gessler is not convinced that uh, there's nothing that she's working on. He's convinced that she has something that he needs to steal. Ah, he's... Basically, he's fallen into the trap. What the? Oh, yeah. The, the guy from the above floor shot me, because he heard the gunshot, too, and opened the door. Yeah, it took me a while to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, because it, it, he he's not even looking at you. He's just shooting, like, to, across to the other the side. Yeah. What it looks like. Oh, he followed you. <laughs> there's, there's the little, the little, uh, L, the little stairs action I was talking to you about. Apparently, I was like right above him on the stairs. He didn't notice I was there. Someone shot me again. Yeah, in the dark, no less. Yeah, shot in the dark. Uh, you could have like punched him out too. Yeah, <laughs> I fell again. <laughs> this mission's a complete mess. That's why I hate this mission so much. Oh. But yeah, my little trick on the bottom, I'm actually actually proud of myself for, like, that I was able to. <laughs> so much noise, but no to violence. Do it that fast. Yes. Some kind of electric. Research it in design or development. So it kind of looks like it could be used for projectiles, but it's not really. The Texas factory. Okay, acquisitions. So now we're gonna steal the thing that we just stole. As in life, anyone in black is professional. Professional shoot you, even if that jump. You can also see it in the dark. Why not? Why not? Well, I, I assume turning off the light will still like trigger them to be like, "Hey, what's going on?" Yeah. Uh, apparently, you can actually hold people at gunpoint in this game, ah. which is a little fitting. So, but I've never done it. I've never had any cause to. Hmm, that's interesting. It's making me want to get the game more and more. I'm not a very original player of this game. There's a lot of things you can actually do here. You can trigger his gun. Oh, so, so that that's why it so lights off. off. Yep, his gun lights off because you can, you can trigger it. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to, whenever you press the light switch, or whenever I go through this thing, it's going to trigger the, what you call it, and then it's going to trigger his gun. But what I thought it would do, it, there's this thing called the prank spasm you can do. Where if you trigger those little, uh, if you if you trigger those uh, what you call it, electrical outlets, it'll actually it will cause whatever you link it to next to get electrocuted. Oh, so I thought I could electrocute him through his gun. Oh, regardless of what it is. Yeah, but no, it had me set off the gun instead. Uh, did you which did, I did, not did want you to get do. the did you get the prank spasm? I don't know if I did this game. I don't. I thought I, I don't did, think you did. Okay, no wonder then. So yeah, now I'm turning the lights off, even though there's no reason, because this guy's professional. He can see through, see in the dark. Nah, but he can't see through the door. Nope. That's his one weakness, his doors. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to figure it out still. Try to how to get by this guy. Yeah, I actually, I actually just have to go all the way around the building again, I think. Yeah, I think that'd be, uh, more efficient, since that cop you can clearly take out. Yeah, I don't know why he turned... I guess he turned around and shot me because he heard the elevator all the way over there. Oh, that's efficient. Well, then the elevators always have the ding! Yep. But here's what we can do now, actually. We can shut off the... Oh. We can shut off the light. I thought that would make him go... That would make him move, but... It nope, because he, uh... He was just like, Oh, hey, the light's turned off. Nothing suspicious about that. Whoops. But now I might actually be able to sneak past him. Or so I think here. It's not gonna work. Oh, did you try? I don't know. I was thinking, actually, like, he might jump into him and then, like, fall off. No, he'll he'll shoot you midair, I'm pretty sure. But now he's facing toward us, so... See here, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I, I rewired his gun so that it will it'll shut off the light. <laughs> Total miss instead of shooting me. And does nothing. And now he's not gonna do anything. What a lazy bastard! Oh, I guess you <laughs> can get shot mid jump. <laughs> yeah, but there, there I managed to get him. So I'm like bastard. Payback. Yep. Can you jump the professionals? Yes, I think. I don't usually try to do it that way because it's not my, my style of stealth game. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. This is about freedom of choice. Yeah, I, I always like to... In, in any given stealth game, I feel like 
the easiest thing to do, or the easy way out for most people, is just, like, knock out all the guards. It's a perfectly viable way to play the game, but I don't like it. I prefer to just, uh... Do it without that. I prefer to do it without being seen. At all. That's my, that's my preferred method. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, there's a skill in that. I feel like there's, there's more skill involved in that. Because, uh, whenever... I don't know. Because Metal Gear Solid 3, for example, is very easy if you just knock out all the guards. It's true. I mean, but it's a strategy, actually... and in terms of survival, I would probably do that, too. Right. But if you try to actually not get seen, like you're supposed to, uh, you know, in the, at the beginning of the game, they actually tell you, you know, it's 100% imperative. Don't get seen. Don't get detected in any way. And, uh... It still doesn't matter. You could be like, I killed them. No one will know they're involved. And they'll be like, okay. Yeah, like uh, that that early scene where you got to protect uh, Dr. Sokolov. Yeah. Anyway, here's just a, a bunch of more a bunch of more stuff that's going about on. About how the agents got knocked out. And... Yep, the agents just get messed up. By the way, no note the gate crasher. That's something that will matter a little later in the game. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't catch that. Man, how strong does your fist have to be to, like, kill someone in one punch? Well, it knocks them out in one punch. It doesn't kill them in one punch. You have to punch a bunch of stuff. A bunch of times. Oh. oh, yeah, I guess. Fucking fantastical. Okay, not... Yeah. Anyway, we are, um, we're not gonna side with Gessler that time. Oh, could you choose? Fuck him, could honestly. You, could you, uh, choose to do it? You could choose to tell him that the prototype was fake. And then he would've, like, rigged an explosion that would've killed some, killed some of, uh, Brooke's people. Yeah, but decided not to do that. Hey, like, zero uh, battery power. Yep, I have zero battery power because of that little little uh, gun thing I did. To deactivate the guy's gun so he couldn't shoot me. Oh, jeez. Now you can't do anything? Well, no. I can still cross-link things, but I can't do any of the special stuff, like rewiring guns and rewiring lights or um, power sockets and stuff. I'm just above the guy. And now I can just go, I can hopefully just stay above him so he can't see me. Crawl like a Samus. And then just Samus. walk up the stairs. Yep, then just walk up the stairs. Do the same to this guy. And then I can actually get the blue circuits and start doing things. Man, you think they put all the blue, like all the circuits in places that would uh, not be easily accessible? Yep. Well, I wouldn't call that easily accessible. I had to do so much sneaky stuff to do that. Well... You know, they're just kind of placed randomly, but, like, for the sake of gameplay. Yeah, so th so that there is a way to actually do it. Yeah. Oh, could have knocked that guard. Oh, wait, there was no door over there, was there? See, there I showed it. I showed myself so that he would start patrolling. Oh, that was a door. You could have totally knocked him out, but, uh, like I said, yeah, preferences. I don't know. It, it, it could have happened. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think of it at the time, actually. That yeah, that, 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 that's fine. I mean, as long as you get the mission done, it doesn't really matter. And now, apparently, that, uh, that this thing by default isn't actually hooked up to anything. Oh, what? I got shot. Uh, no, like, what triggered the door to open? Oh, I triggered the door to open. And this guy doesn't look around. Nope. He just looks at the elevator because he's like, what's going on over there? What was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> I got shot because I punched the guy too much. Yeah, apparently uh, their eyesight is better than the guards from Metal Gear Solid 1. Yeah, if, if it was Metal Gear, they could see like two feet in front of them maybe, and they couldn't see outside the room even if the door was open. See, but now we're trying to get to the laptop, which is a little trickier. And there was that little box you're not uh, grabbing, I noticed. Yeah, that box I have to grab, but I'm, I'm waiting because that prick to the left will see me. Yep, and now I'm getting this guy to patrol throughout the entire thing. I actually accidentally closed the door on myself. Well, that's good, because now he can't see you. Yep. I didn't think of that at the time, but it's perfectly valid. I'm just going to open the other door here. Ah, so is the mission done? Because it doesn't look like there's anything to collect. Well, except for the laptop. I want to get the laptop, which is in that conference room. Oh, I see it. On the top right. See, it doesn't light up when you go into, like, uh, this, uh, view. Right. Oh, someone just casually leaves it on the couch. Yeah, pretty much. And now we have to sneak in, but we can't. Oh, actually, we can. That guy can't see us. Yep. Good, good job on my part for recognizing their sight range. 
And the whole game pauses when you read this stuff. You're a fast-ass reader. Yeah, pretty much. Don't get your cock in a knot. What? <laughs> How long is this guy's dick? We moved here after the gun ban because it's the cheapest time to buy guns. Leave Rook to me. Smarter men than you have lost fortunes. Oh, it sounds like uh, me trying to, to get a uh, computer RAM. Gessler thinks he's a lot smarter than he is. I, I love his characterization. He's just a complete dumbass who has a lot of money. Too much confident. More or less. Wrong and we didn't actually make any noise. Bro. What did you find? Got a fake prototype. Okay, same dead drop. Zero pick. Go fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Seriously, go fucking dick and shove it up what? your ass. <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> what? Oh god! That was the mission. That was great. That was the best mission. The, hands I up. like how I like how the game can't go on unless we read that. Ugh, I have a recording you're looking for in which Jackson threatens to kill Selena. And so what he needs to do. Because she can't actually give this material to the police. Because it was stolen. Yes, because she stole it. So she has to put it on the police... Desk? Police desk, basically. She needs to put it on their computer system. What is this, Batman now? I'm surprised there's... More or less. I'm surprised there's no, like, mod for this where you play as Batman. Yep. So anyway, she, uh... Is actually gonna get her husband arrested. So he's, uh... And he's mess... He's messing it up. What does the evidence say exactly? I mean, I mean it if you say just one word about this anywhere, you'll be dead before you leave the building. Yeah, that's not a good thing to say the night before someone gets killed. And, uh... So, we're trying to get Collins out of jail right now. But in the process, Rook wants to put her husband in jail. Because he's a cheating bastard. Ah, yes. Of course. Well, that and he just completely screwed this up. By the way, this mission is terrible. I, I cannot get it perfect no matter what I do. Oh. See, that's kind of the weird thing, like, how I uh, view Gunpoint, because uh, Gunpoint, it looks like uh, most of these are pretty simple. I mean, they can get really complex, though. Not the nine. Yeah, I don't know. Some of this is just really tricky. I don't know, because I, I always end up getting, like, a... I cannot think witness. of a third thing to tell you at this time. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that. This game, like, has its own... Meta humor. Sort of meta sense of humor. I'm pretty sure that guy saw me there. But he didn't realize it. His spider senses were not tingling. More or less. And so now I'm not sure how to get this guy to move because he's standing right next to the. He's standing right next. And to the he's stairs. not moving when the lights go out. Just be like chilling in the dark. Pretty much. I think what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is here knock him out. <laughs> is knock this guy out. Oh yeah, if I turn the lights on again. For some reason, then he starts to move. And he starts patrolling right behind the other guy. Oh, well, at least it's a lot... Why this happens, I have no idea. I actually try to tackle him. I think you're try to, trying to tackle both of them. Not sure if that would have went well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to tackle two of them. What the fuck? You can actually... <laughs> I tackled him, and then I just jumped off, and then he shot me. <laughs> I decided but it's better not to knock them out at all. Let him live for another day just so you can die another day. Yeah, pretty much. So... We're triggering the alarm so this guy will come in. Oh, that was the alarm? Okay. Yep, that was the alarm. I like how the alarm isn't... Actually, no. It probably is detached attached by default to the, the security cameras. It's very strange, though. Okay, your theory... Yeah, talking about the defendant and how uh, having yep. So she's just uh, they're basically just just saying you know take the solution for the case, don't look in it into the fact that he doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Did he miss? He missed like the first yeah. shot. There's a there's a thing you can get that makes their shots occasionally miss. Oh really? Yep. See what I I actually just messed up. I realized that I forgot to turn the lights off, so this guy will move patrol around. So now I have to get past the squad here. <laughs> the two guys still don't see you. That uh, that still kind of cracks me up. Yep. And so now he's gonna try and turn on the lights. Fail. I'm just gonna chill in this elevator here. And not and damn, they must have like uh you know those things that people wear uh, the 
not earmuff, the earplugs so that when they shoot guns, they don't make themselves go death. Maybe that's what they're Probably, wearing. Probably, yeah. Or in case they're, you might have like a sonic boom, or not sonic boom, like some sound weapon. Yeah, maybe. I, I honestly don't know what the hell they're doing for most of the time in this game. Man, those, those bulky guards are big. <laughs> I, I, got, I got shot at, but I didn't. Uh, I, I used the hush cracker so that guy wouldn't notice me. It's Katie. Wait, what? Oh, they found her in her sale. The note said she want, didn't want to be a burden, so she killed herself. Wait, so Katie killed herself? Yep, Katie, the one, the one who was being framed, killed herself. And this is Rook's husband. But now we get the chance to uh, mess with Rook, or to side with Rook, or to side with this guy. I don't know why we would side with this guy. After that. Yeah, after, for one, he put us through all this shit, and for and tried to get, uh, cover his own ass at the expense of getting Katie Collins arrested. I'm gonna go framed. Yeah, and, uh, he's just, what you call it? And Rook has been, like, completely honest with us so far, even though she's kind of a cutthroat businesswoman. So he wants, he wants to just upload on the internet, because the internet solves everything. Yes, and, well, as, it'll especially blow up. No doubt about that. Yep. So he wants just wants the full recording online so that we can... Conway, it's Rook, ignore Jackson. <laughs> you don't even know what he said. The whole recording you have in the Israel, but it's not the whole story. To be honest, I wasn't <laughs> listening. <laughs> you don't know what he said. I wasn't listening. <laughs> this character is so inconsistent if you make him that way. Okay, and we actually learned that... Uh, if we side with the, the guy, every marriage has its rough patches. But yeah, if we if we side with her husband, we won't get to catch the guy who actually shot Selena. But if we side with her, we can we'll be able to fight him in the last mission. Oh, it's the old cliche: drama. husband runs off with a younger woman who doesn't spend her spare time thinking of less and less traceable ways to destroy people. Wife untraceably destroys him. Yeah, I, I really don't understand what that guy was thinking. Oh, drama! Yeah. She, she seriously, like, she works in information in, like, weapons, and she, he really was gonna cheat on her. Following that, so you can secure it. Money, money, money. Terminal. Okay, so, he want, she wants us to wipe the data, because she has a, she had us put doctored footage on the police network. So now we're just going to delete the original, so we can't possibly be traced. Money, money, money. Yeah, lots of money. And we get the same amount of money either way. Loads of money. Yeah, and the money's only used for one thing. Buying equipment. Yep, there's one piece of equipment we can't beat the last mission without. Oh, is it that one, we... uh, very special one on the bottom right? When you go to yep, the... the gate crasher. <sighs> House setup. Well, yeah. So now we're we're just trying to I'm just trying to think of different things I can do with this or how to approach this. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure right now I have to I have to crash through this window, and it tells me I can use the hush cracker. I'm gonna do that, not get shot. And the guard's just like, huh? What was that noise? Yeah, he was he was looking to see if I I would appear again. Makes oh yes, of course that makes total lot of sense. Can you reach out to kind of mess around with him? See, yeah, I actually decided to punch him out there because he causes you so many problems. And you weren't having it. Yeah, I just I didn't want to deal with it. I was going to say, you know, I, I'm still going to go back to the fact that, like, they should have gotten flashlight. Like, what the hell? Yeah. The idea of a guard with a flashlight kind of comes in with the professionals, because they can see in the dark, but it makes less sense than that somehow. Oh, are you going to jump down the window? Oh. I, wanna, I wanted to break all the glass in this building, but I, I decided against it. <laughs> there I wanted to die, because I realized I screwed up. And just had to atone for it. Like, I have, I have no will to live anymore. I've been seen. It's against my, my thief's code of honor. 
He has one spotted. Must give up. Yeah, pretty much. So once I, once I can just hack all these windows together. Normally you have to rely on that stupid uh, <laughs> position detector or the the motion detector up there to get the door open for you. That takes really annoying. That takes too long. Yeah, you have to wait for that guy so many times. And this mission, I think, is the part where I decided to forget it, and I, I decided to use ways that were fast and not necessarily clean. I thought you would- I, I, I mess with this guard so much here. Like, you think you'd, you think you'd get a clue. Yeah, and there I got shot. Yeah, I mess with this guy so much, like, I, I just keep- I keep breaking things, and he keeps running in and- running in at the result of the sound, and just not finding anything. If only you could drive. Least, if only you could drive them mad. Like if you like um, do it too many times, they'd go insane and like uh, it's like, am I going crazy? Yeah, just. Well, I mean, the glass was broken, so clearly someone did it. The glass didn't just break on its own. Or it might but, like, or it might be a paranormal activity. Maybe. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just bashing my head through everything. Yeah, somehow. I like how the professional is like now stuck in that room. Oh, like some there's literally no way there's no way to open that room once it's closed. <laughs> what, kind from of, the what kind of professional are you? Only from the outside. Make yeah, makes it a no. makes it more of a prison cell then. What about the architect of this building? Like that's the guy we have to worry about. <laughs> like how the hell Who made you design makes, this? Makes no sense. That guy actually shot at me there. But now we're gonna mess with him some more. Oh, couldn't he like jump down again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that should be a challenge. That'd be funny. <laughs> to get guards to jump off the building. Yes. I don't know. I was, I would uh, I'd take that challenge any day of the week. Although I'm pretty sure if I played this game again, like a hundred times, I couldn't replicate what I did there. I know. That will go down in, common, in gunpoint history. That'll go down in our history of our conversation anyway. <laughs> the prototype, I'm fucking you. Congratulations, you fucked me on the prototype thing. Guess what? I'm fucking you back. Oh jeez, I have him by the bows. So yeah, she. So yeah, now Gessler is getting revenge on Melanie, who he realized, or on Rook, who he realized just completely messed him up. Sexual tension. Oh, that and that room where the professional is—is is, is that only for a battery? I think. So much noise. <laughs> I just broke every single piece of glass there was to break, except for one, I think. Now we know who killed Selena Delgado. Hightower. He's named Hightower. If I recall, there was a guy named Hightower in the original Fallout. Uh, Tenpenny Tower. No, it's no. The guy's name was Hightower in the original Fallout. Oh. Fallout One. Hmm. I'll have to replay Which, that. Maybe that might be. You're not the one who confused it with Fallout Three. Repeatedly. Oh. Well, well, there was a tower in Three. Yes, there was. Anyway, uh, we can say thanks, it's been a pleasure, thanks, it's been weird. Thanks, I'm off to commit double homicide. Okay, double homicide then. Okay, okay here we get the gun, the gate crasher, and some batteries. Oh, you can sell batteries, huh? Yeah, actually the battery selling feature is something that... Uh, I taste battery, yeah, I said... Yeah, I wanted to get the last achievement. <laughs> Come and fucking get it! Because Steam achievements are important. So, with gate crashers, you can kick down any conventional door by running it. Holy crap, what is this, Donkey Kong... Donkey Kong? Maybe? We're gonna go up thing, but instead of barrels, it's guns and stuff. Yeah, so here I'm just gonna try and climb the building. I'm gonna show you why you can't actually do that. Because, uh, get spotted. Well, first off, yeah, first off, because that professional's there, and second of all, if you're, if you're like, directly outside a window, like, if I'm pressing my face against the glass of the window, there's no way for me to break it. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, you can't. doesn't make that much sense to me. Like, you'd think you'd just be able to, like, <laughs> punch through the window. And yeah, that's the whole gate crashers kicking doors into people thing. Yeah, it's like why can't you uh why can't you punch the glass? It's like geez. You yeah. can have one hand. I guess if you broke the glass, you'd have nothing to grip onto with your hands. Yep. Yeah, and I realized that uh, turning off the lights is actually pointless cuz these guys can see me anyway. Oh yeah, that's true. And we actually have to trigger the alarms here cuz no one really cares. <laughs> so. I love the, I love these random things. But yeah, the guy actually, the guy from below actually came as a result of the alarm, shot me to death. So here, I can just go back in time and see him. He actually stays. 
See, that guy actually saw me through the door that I caused to be open, and he killed me. Ah, uh, now it's a double kill. Pretty much. I'm pretty- I actually think I only knocked out the guy who fell through the floor. Like, one story fall won't kill you. I don't think. Uh, it'll break something, but killing you? No, no, no. I would, I would not. That makes these guys a bunch of wimps. I guess, you know, I, unless you land on your head, then yeah, that cause a concussion. See, here I have no idea what to do. Like, I have no idea how to get into that, uh, that room with the green switch on it. Huh? What was that noise? Oh, where, where, where'd it go? <laughs> Let's... Messing with these- messing with the AI of this game is so strangely rewarding. Even though they're obviously, like- Idiots. They were dropped on their heads as children. Or dropped on their heads as you, uh, torment them. Yeah, dropped on their heads- uh, Oh, wait, I see it. You're- you're- there's another set of stairs you can go up to. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, because I didn't almost didn't realize there was a stair. Yeah, it, in this game, you like you you go you go with so many complicated solutions to things, you just forget that there's stairs there. Yes. <laughs> Being... Yeah, this this final mission's actually a little bit complicated. I would be appreciative, I think, if the the person who designed this game would just uh just come up with another mission pack, because honestly, this game has a lot of potential, I think. Or like a what was it a map editor? There, there is a map editor actually. I just, I haven't looked into it. Oh. Okay. And now I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Even though <laughs> there's some stairs I can just walk up. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh, just taking your time trying to devise your plan. I'm actually trying to like jump through. I'm trying to see if I can get a good enough angle to jump through the window here. Uh, I don't think you have enough. Wait, do you have enough power or just? There's not enough power. There. It might be possible if you just upgrade power, but I didn't do that. Yeah, because uh, you still had some upgrades left on the bullfrog. Yeah, and here I am lamenting the fact that you can't just just punch the glass. It makes no sense. You'd think you'd have like some kind of even like Tex Murphy. I'm pretty sure had like a option tool he could use to cut open glass. Actually, no, he didn't. That was the joke. If you ever played uh, Under a Killing Moon, uh, Tex Murphy has this has this moment where he like. Oh wow, that that was a lot more painful than I intended it to be. <laughs> going through the glass. Yeah, you smashed his head into the into the wall. In the yep, glass. I, mean. I I quit when they told me there was no achievement, because it's like, oh well, shit, there's no point then. Uh, but then it's like there is. Yeah, and I still don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Just getting lost a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, this level looks. How long, this level looks how long do we have left in this video? Okay, not much. Not longer. much, because it's kidding. the last mission. Uh, I was gonna say. I was gonna say this. This last level doesn't look that complex. It's actually a little too simple. I don't know about that. It's uh, it's hard if you want to actually do it right. Yeah, yeah, is, yeah. But I meant like. I've been messing it as a up whole. left and right. Oh hey, hello. Oh, I guess you didn't notice the stairs over there. He turned around. Yeah. I still haven't noticed the stairs by now. Oh well, live and learn. Oh, I don't think you need to go. Wait, in I there. think I, there's there's a laptop. Yeah, there's yeah there's a laptop right there. Yeah, I don't know. If I if I had any kind of uh, if if I had any kind of actual uh, integrity as far as being a commentator, I would just uh, I would go and show you guys that. But I don't. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just too lazy to record this game again. Yeah, it's fine, I mean, hey. I like how these guys are walking in single file, by the way. That cracks me up. It's like... Dun, 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 dun. And the little, the, like, really serious pose they have. <laughs> I'm getting all hilarious. tactical. Oh, what lamos. Just holding, like... Yeah, they're just holding, like, pistols. Yeah, it looks like they're holding rifles, but it's just a bunch of pistols. Yeah, that is, that is a proper firing stance, though, I gotta admit. It is. It is. Or at least it's what I, I've gotten to be a proper firing stance from, from uh, watching movies and playing video games. Well, see, I... I, 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 I firing actual firearms? Well, see, I uh, play airsoft, and uh, usually you do the whole... Oh, hey. Yep. And here's the guy that killed Selena Delgado. I just shot him. Here comes the cop. Yeah, I, I, as I was saying, like, I play airsoft, and we... And you do, uh... You usually simulate, uh... What the real thing... What you do with real guns, so... See, here he actually knocks you out. He shot at me. 
I shot it in. I'm pretty sure if <laughs> I cut shot. Yeah, here I'm just gonna punch him. I have to spam click. Notice how the screen gets darker, you can actually lose that fight. Wait, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was your our, our combo finishing move that happens when we kill the guy. And that uh, only happens once. Yep, it only happens when uh, when you kill the guy with uh, the punching him. See, Gessler can actually see you through here, and he just triggers the door to knock you out. First thing I talk a lot. Yeah, what I don't get is that he actually drops the gun that he has and pulls out a different gun. I guess that gun ran out of ammo instead of uh, reloading it. Maybe. I don't know. It could have been that the first gun was on a circuit, so I could have messed with it. Mm, possibly. I don't know. But anyway, here's a little an interesting ending sequence that you can do with this game. Where you oh, can uh, write a blog post about it. <laughs> oh. And you could do you could do this noirish thing, or you could just be oh, this hipster thing. Be silly. In fact, I may have killed more people than I actually avenged here. You can act, you can actually say that, and you get an achievement for it, for pointing out the inconsistency of the game's narrative. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That would have felt good if I hadn't just taken a seven-story body oh, yeah. yeah, I'm surprised you survived that. Yep, but, you know. Uh, the least I guess I picked the least shitty of two incredibly shitty sides. <laughs> All that matters is that now I have the ability to kick Down down doors. doors. <laughs> I think I need 10 cc's of... Yeah, so... I choose the, uh... The sarcastic remark. And there. I go to my web browser. Ah, recording in France. The, the video is now over. Yes. Well, that was pretty fun. Uh, I kind of want to... Yeah, I... <laughs> that moment where the cop jumps out of the, <laughs> the window. That, that was priceless. That was, that was pretty priceless, and you forgot about it. I forgot that it happened, but I just remember that some silly shit happened when I recorded this game. Uh, well, after watching this, it makes me want to uh, play the game. Or get yeah. the game to play and, it. And maybe we'll, we'll be able to do another commentary at some point. Oh, yes, and now we'll be doing the next game, so... I hope you... You got any ideas? Uh, I always have a few ideas, but I'll try and pick something that... Uh, not too long. Not that, I mean, this one is way shorter than uh, the first one we then, did. Yeah, one two hours is good enough, I think. Yeah, one half an hour to an hour is pretty good. Oh, actually, just an hour is pretty fine. So I'll, I'll figure something because I have a bunch of ideas. I was thinking of doing... I think I'll keep that a secret, but definitely I'll have an idea for it. But I hope uh, the people right. watching uh, enjoyed this. Shrouded in mystery, we, we leave you now. In the dark. And... Stay tuned for more from Wizwar and Hitman. Stole my line. <laughs>